Start by cutting the skimmer pattern sheet into two separate patterns. Then cut the skimmer hull pattern along the solid lines. Be especially careful in cutting the corner notches and flaps. If these are not cut accurately, the skimmer will not lay flat and will tend not to travel in a straight line. Before folding each of the dotted lines, students should score the fold line by placing a ruler on it and drawing a heavy line with a ballpoint pen. Fold the edges of the hull to form the skimmer hull. The next step is to tape the corners of the hull. It is important to use as small a piece of tape as possible to attach the skimmer's flaps. If too big a piece of tape is used, it will add friction, which will slow the skimmer down. The completed skimmer resembles a small open boat with a pointed bow and one centimeter high walls. A number line makes it easy to record the position of the sail stand when testing. Show students how to put three lengths of masking tape in the hull lengthwise. The tape will have to overlap slightly. They can use a pen to mark a centimeter number line down the middle piece of masking tape. The outer two pieces of masking tape on the hull make it easy to move the sail stand without tearing the surface of the hull. Unfold a paper clip. One end will be taped to the hull on top of the three pieces of tape, and the other end will be used as the sail stand to support the straw mast. Students can use tape to attach their sail stand to their skimmer near the center of the skimmer hull. They should adjust the stand so that the looped part of the paper clip stands straight up. Insert a straw onto the end of the paper clip. Note that the straw mast should fit snugly on the sail stand. Design and attach your sail to the straw mast using two pieces of tape. Now you are ready.